This is the module placed inside the helmet. For this module we are using two sensors. The one is the limit switch and other one is the alcohol sensor. The limit switch is used for helmet compulsion which makes the user to compulsory wear the helmet and the alcohol sensor measures the amount of alcohol present in the breath of the user. The limit switch will be placed inside the helmet here and the alcohol sensor will be placed here. So when the user wears the helmet, the circuit will be closed which is indicated by the middle red LED. When the user doesn't wear the helmet, the circuit will be opened which means that uh, which is indicated by the LED by its off condition. And when this is the alcohol sensor used for detecting the amount of alcohol in the breath of the user. So it gives out the voltage proportional to the amount of alcohol present in his breath. The voltage of the alcohol sensor is given to a comparator whose threshold is fixed by using a potentiometer. So we are using spirit instead of alcohol. So if no alcohol is detected, this LED will be on which is an indication that no alcohol has been detected. And if I place the alcohol there, the LED will be off which is an indication that the alcohol has been detected. And if I remove the alcohol, which, which, which is nothing but spirit, the LED will be on which means that the user didn't consume the alcohol. So these two conditions must be satisfied to let a user to start the bike. So now the no alcohol is, has been detected which means that the user didn't consume the alcohol and he has to wear the helmet which is done by pressing the limit switch. So the green LED is used to represent that both conditions has been have been satisfied and the user can be allowed to start the bike. So this data has to be transmitted to the receiver where a relay is placed to let the bike start depending on the signal sent by the module present in the helmet. So this relay basically acts as a switch. This transmitter, this RF transmitter shown here, this RF transmitter shown here sends the data to the receiver module placed within the battery of the bike. So now no alcohol has been detected and hence the first red LED is glowing and if I, the user wears the helmet the limit switch will be closed and hence a value of 1 will be sent from the transmitter to the receiver side where we provide an LED to, uh, to indicate that the user has worn the helmet and has no alcohol has been consumed. So when the user wears helmet but the alcohol is consumed it sends zero value to the receiver which means that the LED on the receiver side doesn't glow. So since the relay acts as a switch the relay can be connected to the battery of the bike which doesn't allow the bike to start even if the key of the bike is pressed.